Hey you guys, this is back. This is an Evergo Roma ceiling fan. I believe this might be like the fifth generation model. This was the last version of their Roma ceiling fan before they discontinued it, or maybe just fold it all together. Not too sure which one came first. Anyways, this is what we like to call an Emperor style fan due to um, SMC really pioneering the design, even though I believe there was a company that did it first. But either way, we coined this style as the Emperor and Evergo was one of the ones that did give them specific names. These were called the Roma, like I said. And they started making them probably in the late 70s, early 80s, I'd say. And back then they had a much larger motor and variable speed. And then they slowly just sort of downgraded in quality. They got slightly smaller motors. Eventually they did away with the variable speed. They moved to plastic on a couple parts for a year. And then this was the last one. This uses a 153 millimeter. Uh, stamped spinner motor and that does give it a little bit of a hum it's not the most quiet fan however I tend to find that Emperor style fans usually are not actually silent I always seem to get noise out of them for some reason I don't know whether it's just the Emperor curse or what this fan is from 1987 this floral globe is not original it came off of this moss light kit here however there was no way I was gonna skip on a floral globe and I believe I even mentioned in the description of the first video that a floral globe would be permanently paired with this fan. And, well, as you can see, that's happened here. I reinstalled this one because I could, <laughs> and I wanted to uh, see it again, and I'm glad I did. I forgot just how much I loved this fan. It's one of my uh, favorite versions of an Emperor. So anyways, we'll go ahead and start by showing you the light here. The globe is a little dirty. You probably can't see it on screen too well, um, but it is. I need to. I need to clean it. I should try and get some grease off of the whole fan too at some point, but uh, I'm sure I'll get that done someday. Anyways, so that is the light kit. Now go ahead and start the fan. This one does have a an unresolved wobble. And I didn't feel like putting a balancing kit on it. I never bother with them usually, just because all my installs are temporary and I'd have to take the weights off and waste them. And yeah, so it just, it never makes much sense. And you can't leave them on the blades in the blade stack, so this is just what I do. This one definitely does have a little bit of a hum to it. It's not as bad as I remember. Maybe I, well, I know I fastened the light kit on this fan much better than it was before. I tightened it up before I installed it, and that's definitely done some things. And at first I thought we had some bearing noise coming out, but it was just the thumb screws rattling. So, Evergo was one of those import manufacturers, and, you know, they made a lot of, you know, industrial and high-powered fans. And they used to use, like, industrial-grade motors in their fans, and then just put, like, wood blades on them. However, by this point, they had sort of cheapened out, and then they started doing things like this as well with the cheaper stamped motors. I mean, it's still not a horrible fan, but I could tell the quality and the air movements a lot less than an earlier Evergo would be. And their quality control was always pretty iffy as well. So, you know, sometimes you get a really nice one, other times you get one that's got, uh, I don't know, something wrong with it. It's never anything major, but still. So anyways, that there's the low speed. It's a little bit fast. Um, it's not as aesthetic as, you know, I'm sure a lot of us here would prefer. However, I'm feeling air from it. Let's see, we're drawing 0.42 amps, 42.3 watts, and almost already a whole power factor. That seems awfully high for this fan. And I also do know that the motor runs quite hot. I'm starting to wonder if it might need a new capacitor because for some reason, I don't feel as if it should draw that much current. What I will be able to do, though, is read the power on high speed and see what it's rated for at the top, on the top of the fan on the information sticker, and that should give me the correct information. That's medium speed. Got a bit of a wobble to it, but otherwise, not bad. And the blades are in alignment perfectly, so... It's definitely a weight difference, and I don't remember there being stickers on these blades to tell me how much they weighed. Fan's definitely moving some air, though. 
These fans are just really outdated and old looking and I'm honestly not the craziest fan of Emperors, however, I do like them, it's just, I don't know that I would ever choose to install one permanently anywhere. This, um, you know, usually I, I, I always like dated stuff, however, this, this exact version of dated here, I don't know, I got a love-hate relationship with it. So anyways, that is medium. Wound a good amount of air. Let's see, it's drawing, oh geez, 0.4 amps, 46.4 watts, and uh, 0.98 on the power factor. So yeah, some definitely go on with the capacitor and the fact that low and medium are drawing the same amount of uh, speed here. I'm almost wondering if maybe medium is, is running too slow. This is really interesting. I think the capacitor inside probably does need to be replaced. That's also probably why it's running so hot. Anyways, that's high speed. So you can see it does have quite a bit of a wobble to it. Definitely moving the air though, it's a powerful fan. And it's growing 0.54 amps, 63.6 watts, and a whole power factor. Yeah, that's that's off. This needs this needs something done to it. Change the arts capacitor. And of course the flipping tame chain <laughs> is tapping, which is always annoying. However, this fan, you know, it does have a bit of a wobble, so it doesn't surprise me. And now we'll go ahead and turn it off. But overall though, even though it's got some quirks to it and it needs a bit of work, this is still one of my favorite emperors. And this is probably my favorite one in the collection too. Even though I do have an early aroma as well, I do actually quite like this one. This was also the first Emperor fan I ever got, and I got this absolutely ages ago, like right around when I first started my YouTube channel, so I don't know how many of you have even seen this fan. It has a pretty quick spin down, it most likely needs some, um, you know, it, it most likely just has some stiff bearings to it. Just because I'm curious, let's go feel how hot this thing is. Oh, it's not actually all that hot. It's actually cool. That surprises me. Last time I had this thing installed, it was running pretty darn hot. Maybe I wasn't running it for long enough. Anyways, at some point, I'm sure I'll take this fan down, do some experimenting with it, and try and see if I can figure some stuff out about that capacitor, maybe, and see if I can get it to run more normally, because that, that just doesn't seem accurate for this fan, so I guess we will see. But anyways, I'm, I sure hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.